Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's today in lighting, Friday, 4 August from Schaumburg. We're sponsored by ETI Solid State Lighting, where quality meets innovation. Here are the stories making news. Yesterday was an exceptional day here at the IES Annual Conference. I spent time with the emerging professionals in the morning and the leadership forum in the afternoon. There is some great upcoming talent within the society. Earlier this week, penalties for manufacturers and retailers selling lamps below 45 lumens per watt were enforced by the U.S. administration. But not all lamps are banned. Shirley Coyle lists which incandescent lamps are still allowed in her recent article on Edison Report. Wesco has released its second quarter 2023 results showcasing a record-breaking net sales of $5.7 billion. The company's operating profit reached $364 million, reflecting a 6.3% operating margin. Congratulations, Wesco. Edison Report has learned that Cree has implemented staff reductions due to the current downturn in the lighting industry. Join the exciting Lovers of Light game show at Arclight Summit on 19 September, 6 p.m. Ron Steen and Dave Young will be the host. This interactive event features top designers debating lighting trends like light and health and dark sky designs. This is very exciting. HOK is teaming up with the Port of Seattle and AECOM to give Seattle Tacoma International Airport's S Concourse a major modernized makeover. Lumicon announced its expansion into DOT, utility, municipal, and commercial markets, and they're seeking representation in several areas. Yesterday, the Dow dropped 66 points. NASDAQ was down 13. Energy focus gained 9%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great weekend. Pray for peace.